came here today to buy you a gilding. That is the very most bang for your buck that I've seen. That gilding is prime age. They've had him, he's been in good hands his entire life. And you wanna talk about a gilding that's confirmationally correct? Look at the muscle on that horse. That is a fancy horse right there, Clint Minshew. 32, 35 pound, I'll take 33 real quick, guys. Got to go now. What's up? It's taken me longer than expected to make another video. Um, we've just been busy around here, but I'm gonna start pulling my phone out more and showing you guys what we've been so busy with. Um, I've got my farm, the farm on Route 66 gear on. Alan and Vicky gave this to me at the Premier Horse Sale in Las Vegas. So where I left you guys, I was going to Vegas for a horse sale and I'm gonna show you a little bit of clips from the sale. We went there one day, got checked in. We had the preview the next and then the sale was the final day that we were there. It was an awesome sale. I was really sad to see my horse go. I had had Abba for seven years and he was a super special horse. And that's kind of what today's video is about, is I'm gonna show you the sale and Abba, but I'm gonna show you why I sold him or my reasons behind selling a great horse like that. A lot of people were asking how I could let such a special horse go. So here's some clips of the sale and how it went. And you guys will get to see how much my horse sold for. Hit four and five, and you got nobody get 35, and everybody get nobody get 35, and everybody get nobody get 35, bar. Hit 35, now six, and nobody get 6, and everybody get 35, and get 36, and everybody get 36, and dollar. Hit 35, but get 36, and everybody get nobody get 36, 35, but get 36, and everybody get 36, 36. So, online, 35,000 dollars, Texas bound. I was super happy with how he sold. And right after the sale, I got a call from the guy who bought him and he was really happy to have him. And it's actually a gentleman that wanted a horse from me in previous years and he didn't end up with him. And so he's been waiting for another horse. And that makes me feel good that someone would be waiting for one of my horses. I put a lot of time into them and I really try to make good, gentle, all around horses. And I've sold quite a few horses, so I'm, I'm getting better at it, but Abo, it was pretty sad, you know, some tears were shed, I really miss him. But he got a great home, he's going to live in Texas now on a beautiful ranch, and he's going to help teach someone to team rope. And that's awesome that I could make a horse go and do that for someone else. Of course, I would have loved to have kept Abba in my string of horses, but you can't keep them all. And especially when you are in the business of selling horses, there's always young ones that need to be rode. And Abba was at the stage in his training in life where he could go take care of someone else. And it's time for me to focus on some colts I have. So I'm gonna take you guys out to our pasture. I'm in the pasture right now. I've got all, them all behind me. They're finishing up their breakfast. But I'm gonna show you the colts that we have to work with and um, maybe I'll help give some of you an idea of how busy we are with some of these younger horses that really need our attention. And so, you know, you wanna keep all, all, all the great horses, but when you, when you buy and train and sell horses, you gotta sell your best ones and then work on the ones that need more attention. So let's go meet the colts that I have, and not all of them are here. Some are at my dad's house turned out in pasture. Um, there are some younger ones, and so they don't 
need my attention until they grow up a little bit and are ready to be getting worked with full time. But I'll um, put some pictures or something of them in afterwards. So let's go meet the horses I have here. You guys will see me riding my one wheel a lot in a lot of these videos. And one thing I love about this is how gentle it makes the horses. I'm gonna ride up to them. <laughs> you know, they get pretty used to it. it. Makes them really gentle. So this is the first one. This is Poppy Seed. She is a three-year-old mare that um, I am partners with. Um, a guy that lives in Utah and she's a sweetheart. She is um, a hopeful barrel horse. Uh, let me turn the camera around. Here's Poppy Seed. She, I would call her a dun. I've seen people call her buckskin before. She likes my one wheel. Um, so she's a three-year-old and she's just getting a good solid foundation. She's gonna be four this coming year. She's ready for a full-time job and to be put to work and to start getting hauled to barrel races and getting exposed. Here's Gunner. He's the next one. He is a two-year-old coming three, but he's a big boy. He's almost as big as Poppy Seed. And Gunner came from the Pitzer Ranch. Most of my horses come from the Pitzer Ranch. I just got a few that don't. And he is going to be a rope horse so this one is more of my boyfriend's and he is putting a good start on him i put some recent clips i got of him doing some round pin work and he's starting to get road and get exposed to more things he's also very gentle i like gentle horses being pretty helps but being gentle is important. Oh, Bumblebee, you knew we were gonna go to you next. <laughs> this is Bumblebee. He is, he is my next uh, main focus, I guess you would say. He is a four-year-old coming five, and he is also a partner horse I have with the same owner as Poppy Seed. And Bumblebee has, um, been started in the barrels and team roping and getting a good solid foundation and taking him on trail rides and pack trips and I'll put some clips in of our recent pack trip you'll get to see what Bumblebee got exposed to but he's doing really good but like any horse just needs more time and he's gonna make a really good horse but he needs my attention so we can start hauling him and doing things with him and this is sage he is a five-year-old coming six and he's mostly been a head horse he's one that um my boyfriend will probably keep as his rodeo head horse and so he's not one we have to get ready for a sale or anything but still young and still needs attention so we'll go meet some the other ones over here get on my one wheel um this horse this is bubs he's actually a client horse um, but he's a three-year-old and and the client horses need road more than our personal horses so he needs a lot of our attention. This is my one horse I will probably keep until he dies. This is Shorty. You guys will see a lot of Shorty when we go to jackpots and stuff. He's a 10 year old and I've had him since he was a long yearling and I did all the training and he's really special to me. The one horse that I've been able to keep for myself. And then the last horse we have in the pasture this is Butters. Butters came from Canada. He's also Pitzer bred, which is why I really liked him. Um, he is a three-year-old, gonna be four this coming year. And we've been riding him outside a lot, dragging logs on him, roping the dummy a little bit, 
in this coming year when he when he starts to fill out more and and you know their minds mature he'll he'll be able to start roping team roping out of the box so he's gonna he's gonna be one that we sell in the future once we do all the hard work and make sure he passes all the tests but if you can't tell i have a thing for palominos maybe i just like that but yes okay <laughs>